Hello, hello, and welcome to the third alpha release of Vagabond, a sandbox RPG that I quite like. I've uh, played a little bit before uh, in Alpha 2, but Alpha 3 just recently released, and it added quite a few nice features. Uh, I only scanned over the proper patch notes because I wanted to sort of, you know, explore and stuff. But of the tweet, there was tailoring carpentry crops and houses mentioned, which are the big sort of standout one, which are. Uh, be really good because uh, last time we had to sort of uh, borrow someone's house we'll say uh, which, which wasn't ideal although it did the job for storage so but yeah being able to get our own houses and actually like decorate them but also like doing like crops and stuff I mean yeah I think it's gonna be really good so yeah this is actually uh, this is gonna be day seven of indie RPG month uh, this was not a planned one but it is in fact an RPG and I didn't really know what to play today and I felt like mixing it up and there I saw this had been released, so yeah, here we are. I only just downloaded it, like, and uh, yeah, gonna get going with it. Gonna be doing a new world. Uh, yeah, so I have two previous videos on the second alpha version if you are interested in that, but uh, I, I think this will be a more fun experience. Not that that wasn't fun, it, it definitely was, and I had planned to play more. Um, I didn't stop at two because I'd run out of things to do. I just uh, didn't get back to it because I got caught up with things, but uh, it was really good. It was really good. Uh, I do not know what to call our world, so I'm going to call it world. Yeah, that's good. I'm creative. It's fine. <laughs> don't worry about it. Oop, okay, network pop-up thingy. Right, this has multiplayer, I believe, though. It's really of no interest to me, so I'm just going to close that. Okay, very good. Now we have to make our person. Uh, oh, it's a bit pale. Go with that. Uh... Uh, male, yes, I'll go with that. A nose, ah, that one maybe. No nose? Okay, that is actually an option apparently. Uh, what do we got in the way of ears? Uh, let's go normal ears. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, sure, we can go cyan eyes. I think that might be cyan. As for hair, messy. Uh, what do we want? works. Maybe that? I don't remember where I went last time. Maybe it was that. I'm not sure. Let's go with that. It's fine. Uh, we got a beard happening here somewhere? Yeah, I got the beard going. Very good. Alright, hair color. Uh, what do we want to go? Black, white, brown. I don't like the white. Yeah, that's good. That works. As for clothes, go like purple. Yeah, I think this is actually very similar to what I ended up with last time. That works. Okay. Oh, name. Right. Mana. Very good. Okay. Here we are. So, uh, what do we got? You are connected to server. Okay, that's just local thing. Not really sure why it come up like that. Okay, yeah, I did see that. So, can I... Ah, okay. That is a big change. So... Oh, wait, what's going on? Uh, so previously it was um, click to move, and I did see in the patch notes, like when I skimmed through, that it had been changed to uh, arrow keys. Although right now for me, only S and D are working. Uh, w and A are not, okay. I don't know if that's a me problem. Do I have any scripts running that would be changing my keys? That is the first question. Uh, let's see. That, that's a possibility, although it shouldn't be. Ah, uh, can't see. Ah, I can't manage the tab in such a way that my taskbar is popping up. Uh, maybe that. There we go. Do I have any scripts running? I do not. I sometimes have auto hotkey scripts running for games. Like, uh... Gene Forge to switch around AWSD and the arrow keys. But no, they are not going, so I'm not sure what's happening. Do I ha is, is there some keybinds that are wrong here or something, perhaps? Oh. ZQSD? What? That's. Why? why? What? That can't be correct. Oh, all right. I don't know why it's set like that. That's really strange. Maybe that... Okay, I don't know if that was me or not, because I think that... So, yeah, I, I, I wouldn't take that as necessarily being the game. That could be me. Because I did notice that some of these settings were already set to what I had previously. So I think even though I set the folder in a different spot, like I didn't override or anything, 
Um, there's probably other settings elsewhere, I mean, other files elsewhere that this was using. So there might be some, uh, you know, crossover with settings there. So it's all good though. It's all part of the process. Ah, it's fine. All right, so do we have our map? Yeah, we do. So previously on the map, which is randomly generated, uh, you'd be able to see all the different towns that are actually listed on there, but now you have to discover them. So we'll see how that goes. It was a lot of, uh, easier last time, which sort of turned into running from town to town to steal everything we could get our hands on, which uh, worked pretty well, actually. Um, as for this, uh, I don't know if I... I think that it would have been good if this was made optional uh, to use AWSD or clicking. Because although at first, I recall, I, it was unexpected to me that it was going to be clicking, I actually got used to it and really liked it. Um, I'd probably choose it right now if I could. Like, AWSD, I, I love because I've used it for so many games, obviously. But honestly, I, I thought this worked well with clicking. Um, not that I don't think AWSD isn't a good option too, just I, I do think it would be good as an option. Um, it does seem a lot slower. I don't, is there, is there a dash? I can't remember. Uh, okay, run. Ah. Oh. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> is that something I have to hold? Uh, or is it just on? Okay, it toggles. Good, good. That makes sense. Okay. Uh, I don't know if we should be... We probably should actually be grabbing some mushrooms here because... Yeah, you have um, health and hunger. And yeah. That, that goes down pretty fast. <laughs> At least... Uh, I mean, there's, pl there's plenty of food if we can still steal stuff. So, how do you pick things up now? Uh, oh. No, I just ate that. That was space bar some reason okay, i'm not sure I, I yeah i still have like yeah the controls feel funny to me now because i've changed i mean that's not this is an alpha so you know it's to be expected um space okay i'm, I'm not sure how to pick this up am i what am i not remembering do i need to have this open and why can i not hit this okay that doesn't Right click. Oh, right click did. Uh, I, th I thought, oh, oh, that's what it was. Right. I forgot when you click, when something's in, in here, it, 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 it uses it. So that's, uh, that's what's happening there. Okay. All good. All good. We'll get things figured out. Oops. And I did it again. All right. That's, uh, <laughs> uh, that's not ideal. All right. Let's grab a few more mushrooms, but then we, uh, try and look for a town. Oh, I can get some armor and things. Hopefully. Uh, yeah, I want to put this out of there. That was one thing uh, I did hope would actually get fixed. Um, I mean, I'd call it something that needs fixing, is that items don't stack from, like, automatically into your inventory. They go here first, even if you've got one. Uh, yeah. All right, I remember that from the after two. But, you know, it's little things. Uh, overall, I, I found this to be a very fun game. I, I really like the setup, because it's, said it's completely randomly generated, random towns. Um, and you just, you know... Do whatever you want basically i mean and now you know you can get your own house and stuff so it, it is very much a sandbox world you know and uh yeah i don't know i really liked it last time went looting all over the place uh went to a dungeon to mining crafted some stuff you know it was good there was definitely a lot of looting oh good a path okay i don't know if i ignored one before but yeah you, you walk faster on these so which yeah i i found clicking and just like yeah it, it honestly worked really well so you know, it, it's not bad, it still feels fine, but I don't know, I think clicking was good. And hello town, very nice. So, as I understand it, there's going to be like some, some of these places will have signs outside of them. And if they do, you can purchase them for yourself. Uh, I don't know if there's some in every town or how exactly that works. Well, let's take a look around. All uh, right, is this on our map now? Okay, the cursed town. Oh, well, that's a... That's a, that's a good start. That's what we wanted. Uh, oh, yes, there's a sign. Okay. So, what does it cost? How does this work? House for sale. Uh, space bar? Okay, yes, yeah, so he said a name and then prior. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Uh, unoccupied house. Okay. So, I think before, too, um, this is one thing, like, with the click to move. I'm pretty sure before, um, you just clicked on this, like, when you walked up to it. So you'd be clicking the move, you click it and you go in, whereas now I have to walk up to it and then press space. Uh, it's again, it's totally fine. Like that, that, that's a fine control scheme, but I really don't think the mouse was bad. Like I, I really quite liked it as I used it more. Oh, there's a couple of houses for sale here. Okay, okay. Uh, where is the blacksmith? That is what we want first because I don't know if there's been any changes to stealing, but if there's not, it means we take everything that we can. 
because the blacksmiths tend to have stuff laid out on their benches and they don't seem to notice when you take stuff. Yes. Oh, wow. This is a treasure trove. What do we got? Okay, we have rusted plate armor. I'll take it. We have a tin axe. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Uh, I gotta love that. Oh, okay. You can just click them to equip straight away with spacebar. Okay. Didn't realize that. Is that just... Okay. I think that's what just happened. And we have some tools now, which is good, because we can use those to get wood and... Uh, Ores, uh, what else is there? Like, yeah, ores, metals, and stuff to do crafting. So that's good. Uh, food, we, well, we're doing okay on hunger. How you doing? Oops, I did not mean to do that. Uh, but again, I think that was like before you click. Now it's click to attack. So it, uh, throw me off a little coming back into it like this. Uh, train, background. What do you, what do you got? Anything? That's one thing, too. You can, like, pick up their own stuff, then sell it to them, then buy other stuff. Uh, it's a good system. I enjoy it. I, I don't know if it'll be remaining that way forever. Probably not. But I'll uh, I'll enjoy it while it lasts. Take their tools. Anvil, you use that for crafting. I uh, don't know. Well, we won't have anything there. Yeah, so there's nothing in there. But once you get stuff, there'll be things there. Put your ingredients in, craft. Uh, this is what you uh, you train through here. So it costs to train. Uh, we can get those to start anyway. So we can actually make ingots. But then, yeah. So you got to actually... Pay gold to be able to learn how to make different things there. So we do not have that gold right now, but as we steal more things and build ourselves up, we'll be able to. Uh, I mean, and we can also just borrow someone's house. That is still a very viable thing, which by borrow someone's house, I basically just mean you take over their house and use it as storage. Because uh, you can't do that. You see, they've, they've got storage here. And as far as I tested, you can just put your stuff in these chests and stuff that they have. And you, you won't, there won't be any problems. It'll always save and stuff. So as long as you remember where it is, you're all set. Um, but yes, we'll, we'll be taking everything that's not nailed down, basically. Uh, what is that? Glass. Yes, that has some value. Won't, uh, won't be taking every little thing forever. But to start out, you get a little bit of money. Uh, get some food, you know. It seems like a good way to go. So I don't know if we should... Uh... Well, yeah, there's, there's a carpentry place now. So I don't know if that does anything to loot. Might be good. Uh, we already have two of them. We could sell one of them already. Um, oh yeah, so we, this is the carpentry place, I guess. Okay, oh, you have a chest. Anything? Ah, <laughs> gotta check. Covered? Nope. Oh, that's nice, actually. That's really nice. So in the previous uh, build, if you close this, it would still leave that open. That's really nice. Ah, uh, that, that's much better. That's, that's yeah. There was a, there was a couple of things with... Uh, the inventory the, and menus that bothered me. And I just realized they haven't come up right now. So I think they've all been tweaked, which is really nice. Like those small things in terms of things you'd tweak, but they, they did bother me. Uh, you know, it's the nature of an alpha though. It's not something to be too bothered by. Uh, how are you doing? What do you, what does she do? I guess, uh, I guess that's similar to the anvil where we can, uh, yeah, learn stuff here, I assume. Oh, my name's Jack Lee. I reside in the cursed town and I work at Howling Cupboard. Jobs? Uh, I really like your outfit, and you definitely have great taste. Maybe you should consider talking to the tailor and make a career out of it. Not carpentry? You don't want to tell us on that? Uh, yeah, I guess we can't learn. Do we not need to learn? I don't know how that works. Okay, you know, I assume we have to train. I guess you don't do the training? I'm not really sure how that works. Okay. Um, yeah, we probably want to go to at least a, a few more houses to start off. Get some uh, glasses to sell. Get a bit of food. Food's the main one, really. Uh, is, can you shift click? Is there something? Or is it? Wait, did that? I think that looted. That was right click. Is that what I? I think right click did that. I mean, I think it did what I thought it did, right? Oh, okay, it is. Okay, that's good. Good. Uh, what's that? Defense? No, it's fine. Sleeve? Oh, stick? No. Pants? Are they better actually? Yes, they got one defense. It's an upgrade. We'll take it. Uh, shelf, all good. Yes, yeah, so this is uh, this is probably a good storage house, for example, because there's uh, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven points of storage. So yeah, this this would be the kind of house to borrow. Yeah, <laughs> as I call it anyway. Actually, yeah, it's like right at the bottom in the center. This could be a good storage house. The cursed town is certainly not something we're gonna forget. Oh wait, I didn't check that barrel, did I? I don't know if there's anything in the outside ones. Nope. That, that really could be a good option, actually. 
we need storage. I mean, this this is a nice, like, cozy one, but not quite as much in the way of storage. Uh, well, not that we necessarily, well, it depends. We probably won't need a ton uh, today. We'll see how we go. Mostly going to sell this crap and get ourselves a bit of stuff going. Then we can explore some more, see what towns are around. Uh, I'd like to be able to buy a house, you know, do some farming, you know. This, this would be a good storage house, but uh, this isn't the kind of greenery I want for it to set up properly. Oh, hello cheese. I'll take it. Oh, quite a bit of storage in this house as well. Yes, that's how you evaluate houses. <laughs> how much storage other people's houses contain. I mean, I'm curious to the benefits of your own house. It's just you could decorate it, I guess. I mean, that's a, that's a huge one, obviously. I do want to own my own house, not borrow some other randoms who's going to come in here every night. But, uh, yeah, it does seem like, you know, you can just use other people's storage quite casually. So I don't know if that'll uh, remain permanently, but we'll see. We're doing all right. We have a fancy hat. We have a spear, you know. No one's going to be messing with us. Let's uh, check here. Grab those. Well, yeah, we won't be grabbing the glasses and things forever. Just uh, all of the food, you know, you do need that. And you do go through it pretty fast. Like, you can loot a lot. But, you know, you, you do go through quite a bit of it. And good, good. Uh, let's eat a tomato. Uh, that, very good. There we go. And goodbye. Thank you very much. Uh, is there anything else we want to get in this town? Uh, I guess we'll check the pub. Oh, yeah, we can get some wine. Probably got some value. And, oh, I was going to, we should go sell some stuff, but I think the blacksmith probably goes home for the night, so we can't sell until the morning. Although, actually, if I recall correctly, you can actually sell in the house. You just have to find the blacksmith's house. I don't remember his name. Because they all have nameplates, which is nice and convenient. Uh, I mean, like if you hover over the door. But I don't remember what the blacksmith's name was. Ah. Okay, that's the for sale houses. I don't think it was Sansy, was it? I mean, maybe it was. It sort of sounded familiar, but I wasn't certain. Oops, I just ate something. Butter. Okay, very good. So, we don't want the hood. You can have that. You can have the wine. You can have the plates. You can have those. You can have your tools. <laughs> Enjoy. Uh, the, I can't quite recall if there's durability or how that works, so... I think we'll keep these? No, I'm... No, we'll sell one. I'm pretty sure that's fine. Uh, mallet, you can have... Uh, yes, you can have saws, you can have some frayed pants, you can have some glass. I am a very generous trader. Get our food up here. Oh yeah, and uh, just I, I forgot to mention, but you know, I usually do anyway. But uh, uh, if you are interested in this, links in the description to each Dio page and Twitter account. Because uh, this is, I, I think this is definitely one worth supporting. It's, um, you know, being Alpha 3, like it's something you bulk it out with a lot of features. I think it could be really cool, like... I, I really enjoy sandbox stuff, so, you know, when you're starting to see farming and that kind of stuff, and being procedurally generated now, like, I, I just, I really think it has a lot of potential. No, I really like it. But first, let us check your cupboards. <laughs> okay, I think we're all good then. So we've got 197 gold, like, it's not bad, you know, it's a start. I mean, when you can buy a house for 3,000, 197 isn't a bad start. Uh, I am curious on the prices, like, are they all 3,000, I wonder? Bigger ones cost more or anything? Okay, they're both 3,000. Uh, is there any other places we want to loot with signs? Yeah. Let's check this place. Oh, hello. I'll take you, and I will take you. Yes, I will. Probably not worth much, but... Fine. Oh, can... Does this have loot? No? Okay, I don't want to stop with that. I'll have some spools, sure. Oh, sewing table, interesting. Okay, so I guess this is for tailoring clothes then? Okay. I don't know how that works, if it's just like, uh, light armor and stuff, or if it's... Hmm. Not too sure on that. And I think that's about it for this town. I mean, yeah, we could go into more... I mean, you can go into more houses and grab a few extra things, but... Probably worth heading out, I think. Um, one sec. Oops, sorry about that, I had to cough. <laughs> Thought best to mute that. Um, what do we got? Ooh, some ham, delicious. And, yeah, we'll take them for now. It's fine. A few more of them aren't going to hurt. Any cash will do the job. 
yes, yeah, so we'll, we'll head out for now. Um, the cursed town, I don't know, we might use that house for storage. It feels like a good option because it's easy to remember. But we also don't really need to worry about storage quite yet, so. All right, um, I think maybe we'll head down this way. That's probably a good way to go. Uh, well, actually, let's let's see where there's a path. Let's, um, okay, it looks like there's one this way. All right, let's, ooh, nice and green. Let's, uh, yes, I would like to find a really a nice town in like a green area like this. That's definitely where I'd like to set up. Although ideally, one near a border, like that'd be cool. If maybe you could get like, um, one on the border between snow and grass, like that'd be pretty nice. Ooh, it's a lake here or something. Nice. Oop, that, uh, I didn't think that worked correctly. All right, what do we got? Some trees. The mysterious light coming off us that I appreciate. Uh, it feels like we should have a lantern or something to make this happen. Uh, but I do like it. Although I, I do think that would be a cool thing. Like maybe um, like a separate little slot here. Or like a, a belt item or something. Like if you have a lantern slotted there. I, I think that would be kind of cool. I mean, I'd miss just having my light, but if we're talking about a serious feature suggestion, I think that'd be kind of cool and very fitting because it's, it's like, it's dark, but it's not so dark that you can't see. Like if I was in this, you know, it wouldn't be as nice as this, but I could see perfectly fine. So I, I think it would give an added sort of reason to go for the lantern, but you could still manage fine enough without it sort of thing. And we also have a town, so that's very nice. And it might be surrounded by a river. It's kind of cool. Looks good. I, I quite... Oh, I like these, actually. Hmm. Looks good. And it's apparently a ghost town at the moment. What do we got? The grass town. Okay. Alright. The grass town, eh? I see, I see. Oh, what is what is this? Why is your roof different? Are you special? Do you have fancy stuff? What's going on here? Hmm, I see. You do have some stuff I should take. I understand. Very good. I understand. Very good. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Goodbye. I appreciate you. Enjoy your bed. Okay, is that really the only house with that roof? Because it is weird, right? It seems to be. Hmm, okay. Interesting. Now, we also need to find the blacksmith. Because, yes, yeah, so we have to loot every blacksmith. Because some of them have, like, pretty good stuff. Like, you know, I mean... I think these are okay. Well, tin. It's probably not amazing, but... Yeah, you can get some pretty good stuff. Like, well, we I don't know what's changed, obviously, but... Previously... I was able to get some really good plate armor, so it'd be good. And I think that's not too much to loot in here. All right, very good. Uh, oh, there we go. Spark and gold. Oh, wow, this is a tiny little blacksmith. Oh, look at that. Rusted axe, tin chain mail. That sounded better than it actually was, but it's still good. Oh, value 200, though. That's not bad. Oh, wow, we already had... Oh, I didn't realize... Oh. The rusted plate arm is not bad, actually. <laughs> Didn't realize that. Okay. Very good. Uh, anything in you? All right, got some ores. Yeah, so you can actually, you can sort of start to see why you sort of do need storage. It, uh, your stuff can rack up pretty fast, and you don't really want to throw out any of the food because you need it. And even though it seems like you got a bit, it goes quite fast when you stop looting around and actually start needing to eat and stuff. So, you know, it's something to keep in mind. Uh, what are we looking at here? 3,000 again. All right, it does seem like they... Oh, another one of them houses. Wait, is it just the lighting that's doing that? No, because, I mean, that's... Yeah, no. I think they're just darker. There's just not many of them. Okay. Anyone home? Any uh, any good stuff? Oh, I didn't realize that. It, uh... Let's eat that. Oops. It actually uh, closes the menu if you just walk away. I like that. I definitely like that. Very convenient. And I'm not sure why you're keeping those in a bookshelf, but whatever you're into, you know, you do you. And what else we got? Probably not too much to grab here. I don't know. I, I think I want to do a bit more exploring, see what we can find. I just want to get a bit of armor before we, like, necessarily uh, go down into a cave or anything. It would also be good to get a bow, although it's a, it's a, it's a struggle with this inventory right now. We, need, we do need to sell a few things here. Uh, we can sell everything that isn't food. Uh, yeah, we, which is quite a few things. <laughs> Alright, let's eat that. Uh, what else was there? The carpentry shop? That should have a couple things to loot, right? I assume there's one in every town. Uh, don't know that for certain. Let's assume so. 
Uh, oh, we have the inn. Get some wine. Good stuff. Brandy. Delicious. I don't actually like brandy that much, but delicious. <laughs> well, actually, hmm, can't remember the last time I had any brandy. Hmm. I don't know if I like brandy. I'll have to try some brandy some point. Hmm. I, I really can't remember if it's, oh God, it must have been years. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Uh, let us eat a potato. Delicious, delicious potato. And take some wine. Very good. Just a, just a casual uh, early morning bar robbery. Sure. Why not? It's what you do when you wear a fancy hat. Hmm. As for next, I think we probably just want, I, they should be waking up, I think, shortly. I don't know what the time is. Can we see that somewhere? I would like to be able to see the time. Okay. Don't think you can. I assume they're waking up sometime shortly, though. Sun's up. I want to sell our shit to this blacksmith and see if he has anything worth buying. Because it would actually be good to get a bow and some arrows. They seem to be pretty nice. Uh, spear's kind of good, though. But uh, the bow was really good last time. Um, It might be good to find a storage. Hmm. Oh, hello. Alright, so they're up. Now we just have to go wait near the blacksmith, which was up. Here or down? Okay, it is here. Yeah, so, as for storage, I mean, we can really go anywhere. It's not that hard to remember. I mean, this could be a good option. It's right next to the, these two, so it would be very easy to remember. And it's a lot nicer than the ghost town. Uh, very minimal storage here, though. Okay, maybe you're not the best option. Not that we need crazy storage, I just feel like it'd be good to have somewhere to sit food. Because, you know, as we go along, we can loot more food from other towns, but then we'll still have our supply back here sort of thing. You knew? Um, alright, let's get that. Oh, can I just, can I just right click? I probably can, right? Yeah. That makes sense. Uh, let's get rid of those. Yeah, so this thing, like, we, we stole from them and we can sell back for 200. I think we get, do we get the, yeah, we do. So yes, you can see uh, why it's worth uh, stealing from the blacksmith. Like, we're already one six basically towards the house, so... Yeah, not bad, not bad. Well, uh, with that, and that, and that, we are over one six. so... Yeah, not bad. And I think that's another... Oh wait, Rusted Axe. Uh, one to two, first one to three, you can go. Thank you for your service. That didn't exist, but that's fine. I do wish there was a big inventory still. Uh, like, even if it was through gameplay, like, you know, a backpack or something. I just feel like with food, it's like, I don't know. Although, to be fair, this did add like farms. So that could be a real changer for that. Being able to sort of focus on one food, one or like just a couple of food types even. Um, and being able to stack them rather than having sort of this mess of all different things. Which really doesn't work that well. Uh, all right, I didn't actually, whoops. Skipped over the uh, checking what he actually had to sell. Uh, she, sorry. Uh, so what do we got? Um, got a wood bow. I mean, probably just grab that. What's the cost, actually? 50. I mean, we just want any bow for now. We'll upgrade as we go along. Um, is there any shoulders here? No. Shoes. Mm, what's our helmet? Three defense. Not great. Uh, could be worth grabbing that. I mean, we'll, say we'll earn back stuff pretty quick. It is worth having defense. Um... We'll be going to more blacksmiths though, so I guess there's no rush to that. Wooden bow, it's pretty average, isn't it? It's only 50 though. Yeah, let's do that just so we have the option. And as for arrows... Yeah, these are the winners, the bronze ones. I think there's one other where it's values one, but it's damages two. Whereas others are, yeah. But you do, you go through them pretty fast. Um, so I think we'll grab copper to back us up if we need them. Uh, actually, we may even, we'll set them first, yeah, so save the better ones. Yeah, that'd be good. Uh, we still got 420. Tempting, but no, we'll, we'll stick with that. I think that's good for now. Okay. Uh, I would like some storage, but I, I don't know. I mean, it's not hard to get back here, so I'm probably being a bit dumb about it. Yeah, let's, um, let's do Arla's house here. It's right there. It should be pretty easy to remember. It's not a ton of storage, but it is enough. Because uh, I want to store these. We don't need them right now. Um, 
As for food, some of them down here. Well, actually, we'll probably go, yeah. No, I don't even think we need to do this yet. I think we're still okay. Nah, yeah, that'll be fine. I wasn't thinking, we got that whole bar there. We need to eat food as we go, so I think that's fine. Uh, we haven't looted too much here, but I think that's going to do for this town. I want to move on to the next one. Uh, probably go to at least one or two more, maybe. Um, explore around a little bit. Because, uh, I mean, if we get, like, ideally, we want to sort of fill out our armor just a little bit more. And th this is really the best way to start out, at least from what I can tell. Otherwise, well, I mean, it costs a lot more if you don't do this, uh, which takes longer, I figure. But um, we will want to get to crafting our own stuff and upgrading, but this just sort of gives us a baseline to work with when we actually go into some caves and stuff like that. I'm also realizing I'm just going straight off the beaten path, aren't I? I also think that I may have, ref like when I said the body of water thing, I'm pretty sure that was like the, the edge. So yeah, that was definitely not a lake or anything like that. I assume that's what it was. But we'll head down, uh, I guess. I'm I'm not sure where I'm going here. Oh, there's a path. All right. And biome with some strange looking fauna. Oh, all right. That looks cool. Oh, we got purple roofs. I like purple. I do like purple. Match my clothes. Although we can't really see them right now, but nonetheless. Bustling about. And we have some... La oh, hello. Oh, I need to remember to check the outside crates. I'll take that, I'll take that, I'll take that, I'll take a carrot, sure. Thank you very much. Oh, these are lootable. Oh, red cabbage. Looks purple to me. Is that actually called red cabbage? I feel like I'd just call it purple cabbage. I mean, I've eaten it before, I've just, I don't know if I know the proper name. <laughs> I guess it probably in the red spectrum, under light, I don't, I don't know. Anyway. I'll eat it. It no longer exists. Goodbye, cabbage. You will be digested. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Let's find us a blacksmith and hope for some good stuff. Uh, yeah, I guess I should check all the crates. Well, I don't know if they're all worth it. Some of them. I mean, that, that had relevant ones being the wine, so... Maybe only some. Oh, okay. What do we got? Ooh, this one's a bit bare. Where's all your stuff, man? I mean, I just took some of it, obviously, but that that aside, you can have that. Uh, rusted is not... Uh, no, rusted is the same, apparently. Hmm. All right, goodbye. Take that and that. Uh, what do you got? Wood bow. Yeah, I didn't I didn't grab the bow, did I? No, I did grab the bow. Don't mind me. Um, any good arrows? Yes, you have them. We'll take them. Copper. Yeah, we stack up some more of them. That's fine. As for these, what have we got? Oh, we've got some pauldrons. Got some plate boots. They could be worth grabbing, actually. Fill out. Hmm. They don't cost that much together. They do knock our gold down, but, you know, we're stacking that up. Um. Yeah, you know what? Let's grab them. That's going to help. The rugged cap's the thing holding us back, isn't it? Copper chain hat. Uh go with that one half the price we can do that and you can go yeah i think that'll be good we'll uh we'll want to upgrade our tools too sooner than later but oh crap i didn't sell those there we go that should be good oh right can stack that no with it what green cabbage oh lettuce okay okay very good oh wait why am i why do i have that out i don't need that out okay good that we have another tool though uh, stay out there. Alright, very good. Yeah, okay, that was a bit of a disappointing blacksmith, actually, but, you know, that's alright. See what else we got going on around town here. Barrel. Oh, hello. Alright, we're doing alright on food, eh? Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know if the, uh, where's the carpentry place? I assume there's a carpentry and tailor place in all of them, but... Didn't actually confirm in the last one. I don't think I went to them, did I? Or... No, I don't think I went to the carpentry one. See, uh... Because they, they could vary, too. I didn't really think much on this, actually, because the um, blacksmiths certainly vary quite a bit in the, what they have. So I probably should actually be making sure to check these. A um, few things there we can sell. Nothing too crazy, though. Um, do you have... No, you, you don't sell things. 
Okay. No worries. And what else we got? The tailoring would be somewhere here. I assume, maybe. No tailoring there. Tailoring, maybe. Oop, goes a bit further. There we are. Okay. Let's see what you got. Ah, uh, same kind of stuff again. All right, nothing too crazy in here. Although we haven't, uh, do you sell stuff? I don't think we've talked to a tailor yet. Hello? Oops. Uh. Sorry. Can I pick that up? <laughs> Didn't actually mean to do that. Uh, what do we got? Sell that. Sell some tools. Have a mallet. Have some yarn. Some pants. I think that's all good. Yes, very good. Uh, can I have my arrow? Oh, I didn't want to... Damn it. Okay, right click. Right click. There we go. Sorry about that. A <laughs> couple arrow holes in your shop, don't mind me. Okay, very good. Uh, also, where are we at? Nay Jungle. Alright. I wasn't expecting to get uh, another one right here. I wonder if there's anything... Yeah, we should go that way, actually. I don't think there's anything more I really want here. I'm just... Uh, we'll probably be coming back to a lot of these towns. It's really more about just... Um, you know, I said, get, getting sort of a, a baseline of things, which we do sort of have now. Um, yeah, we'll probably go to one more. I think it may be good. And then we can... Uh, hmm. Well, we'll, we'll see. Uh, how we go here. We can do caves. Um, there's also crafting. I do want to get a house. Uh, yeah, there's a few things. And obviously crops. And it might be good to get crops going sooner than later. I don't know how that works, but if it's not too involved, it might be good so we have a source of food. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think we might just... Uh, we do want to go one of these sooner than later, I think. Because, you know, you can get ores and all that good stuff. Which are, it can be quite profitable, I think. It, it seemed like the potential that if you... Um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, craft stuff and just sell it like to vendors. It seemed like it actually can be really good. You just got to obviously like, sorry about that. Uh, I do not know what I was saying. Something about something. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, I think I'm just saying. Actually, no, I don't remember what I was saying. Oh, wait. Are we already in another town? Oh my god, what? Didn't even realize. What the hell was I just doing? I was just rambling along. I. I I didn't think uh, we we're in a different town because it was all right. Don't mind me. I'm totally sane. Maybe, slightly. Uh, but yes, I, th I think we'll just go to maybe one more. Then we can go into a cave. I don't know what the hell I was. My my brain just completely broke then uh, when I. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. See what we got going on in here. Not too much there. A few things we can loot. Very good. Anything in the crates? Nope. All right. Hopefully the blacksmith has something good for us. Maybe. Uh, I will I will take the copper ore, absolutely. That is helpful. Oh, I think where I was... Uh, yeah, I think I was saying you just need to put in the work to like actually go and mine stuff to be able to craft things. I think that was the last thing I said. Uh, I'm not sure. I might be forgetting something else. Oh, okay. We've got some good stuff here, it looks like. Which may have been a waste of me buying some things, but we can always just sell them, so it's fine. I think you get the... Oh. Really? Inventory's full, alright. Uh, so where's that? Oh, that's not better, actually. Alright. Rusted plate helmet? That is actually better. Tin pauldrons? Tin pauldrons. Alright, same thing. Okay, that gives us some things to sell, though. Uh, oh, two lots of them, isn't it? Okay. Uh, as for this, let's, um... Make some room here. Need an apple. And... A yellow squash. That'll do. That'll give us room for those. Very good. What have we got in the barrels? Anything? Oh, coal. I'll take it. Very good. Now, we just need to sell this stuff to the blacksmith. Uh, wherever he is. Which I guess it's, uh, yeah, it's night time now. Uh, we can try and find... Wait, to these? I don't think the, uh... Uh, that, okay, that's, um, that's something I've noticed. If you up there, I didn't say it, but like, um, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to enter the door, but it's, uh, the space bar is like activating this. I guess it's because of my mouse was maybe over it too. I'm not really sure. Uh, oh, good though. Oh, our arm is looking good, isn't it? Well, at least I think so. Oh, got some food. We are running out of space for food though. 
Uh, oops, no, no, it's fine. Uh, what do we got? Can we stack anything up? Uh, let's just eat some broccoli. That'll do. May as well. Take that. Uh, go there. Wait, what was, oh, okay. I thought the barrel had the pair in it. Okay. Must have looted that weirdly. So how does that work? Let me see. So if I just, if I do that. Hmm. Okay. I thought it must have been, all right. Must have been there's positioning or something or other. All right. No worries there. Uh, let's swap a couple of food items around here with these. Do that. Yeah, that'd be good. All right. Now we just need the blacksmith and then we can, uh, I think we're pretty much all good. Do you sell anything? Oh, I just ate something. Didn't mean to. Hello? Do you, do you talk? Nope. A bit hard to find the blacksmith. There is actually a fair few places in each of these. Although, is this a smaller town or does it just seem that way? I just sort of stumbled in here when I was like rambling. That's why I was like, I think because I got interrupted, I just sort of, uh, it threw me off because it looks the same as the other one. Although I think the roofs might be a little different, but yeah, it didn't, uh, didn't really click to me. Uh, oh, a few things to loot here, but we don't have the room. So are you a blacksmith? Uh, can I talk to you? No, no, okay. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, swing a punch because they're not a blacksmith. That's normal. All right. Uh, where where does a blacksmith live these days? In here, maybe? I don't know if there's a way to tell who the blacksmith... I think you can actually... Yeah, no, isn't there... Um... Go speak with Clom. She will sell you tools. Yeah, Clom. Okay. I, I forgot about that. You can... Some of them... They all say mostly the same things, which is why I've been talking to them. But you can usually gauge, like, uh, a couple of names out of them, Tom, depending on what they say. Such as if they're going to tell you about a job, so... Yeah. Uh, it wasn't... Sean, what damn it, what the hell was that name? I remember it roughly. I remember it enough that I'll know when I see it. Unless it was Sean. Ah, it just, my, yeah, no, my brain just bloop, it's gone. Don't expect that to stay long. <laughs> uh, was it Sean? It might have been. I don't think it was. Damn it, was it? Ah. I should have kept it. I should have kept thinking on it. No, clone. There we go. I knew it was, uh, it was there in my head somewhere. It just disappeared for a while. Oops, sorry. I'm just stealing your plates. Don't mind me. Uh, all right. What do you want? You can have my helm. You can have that. You can have that. You can have that. Yes, that's all good. Saw, mallet, tools, tools, brandy. All right. That gave us some space, didn't it? Oh, plate. Yes. Very good. I think that does it. All right. And just in case, we'll check here. No, we won't worry about the glasses. We can skip over that phase of the looting now. Uh, we will take food, though. We definitely need food. Good. Take that. Thank you very much. I appreciate it, Clome. I will probably not pay you back. I appreciate it nonetheless. Uh, we can leave those. I mean, we're not rolling in cash or anything, but we, we kind of... We can skip past the... Uh, petty looting now I think uh, minus food of course because that is actually uh, pretty useful but I think that is not a bad start although do I want to no they don't look like they're actually worth it okay that'll do all right well I think I'm actually going to end it here for this one uh, a bit of a shorter one than usual but I just wanted to uh, you know take a look at this get a bit of a start going uh, I'm going to be playing this um, more over the coming days I don't I mean this this is going to be I don't know, it, it's going to be tied into Indie RPG Month, but it probably won't replace the next ones. Like today, it is the sort of video for the day. But tomorrow, even if I play this, I may probably will play something else still. Uh, so there might be a bit of a crossover with this one in sort of a, a weird way. Because, uh, yeah. But, you know, I just wanted to get a start with it. I didn't have as much time to play right now. It's uh, getting towards dinner time and I'm getting pretty hungry. So I may even play it later tonight or something. Um, although I also have uh, SMT. I want to play some more of, um, you know, I'm still playing SMT and Gene Forge between Indie RPG months, which can be a lot. And since I did like a three hour one yesterday, I thought it'd be good to just play something like this today, which is why it was perfect when it popped up. And yeah, I just, uh, you know, I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, I know it's mostly been just running town to town looting stuff, but you know, it, it is a sandbox game. So, you know, you do what you do, you build yourself up and we've got a good start, honestly. You know, we've got a set of armor, got 500 bucks, got a bow, got some arrows, 
the oars, some food to work with. We've got tools. I mean, you know, we actually set ourselves up pretty well, I would say. So, yeah, just um, if you made it this far, I thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, again, if you're interested in checking out, the links are in the description. Uh, there's also a demo version of this that can be played for free. I don't know if that's like updated to the alpha, like alpha 0.3 or how exactly that works, but I, it is available. So I'm just, I'm not sure if it's been updated is all how that works. But, um, you know, it is a free demo if you want to check it out. This is the full version that I'm playing, but, uh, you know, you can get the demo in itch.io if you're interested. And, uh, yeah, just again, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. Uh, let me know if you have any suggestions on anything in this game you want to know or check out or suggestions or something you know that doesn't make sense uh suggestions on anything you want to see or anything you want me to check out or you know any of that kind of stuff and uh yeah it should be good i'm uh look forward to playing this more i'll uh i'll definitely be doing at least a few more because i i meant to play it more originally there was still some things i wanted to do but yeah i just didn't get back to it so you know when the alpha 3 was coming that was uh you know i was happy to wait on that and got some new features so hopefully we can build ourselves up we'll get ourselves a house we we want to explore the map find the towns and Find the best one for, so we can pick a house and get some crops going and all that stuff. Uh, although I said it may be also worth checking the crops out sooner than later with uh, so we're not having to just sort of rummage around. Um, I don't know. We'll, we'll see how we go. Uh, but yeah, anyway, I'll see you in something else tomorrow. I hope you're having a good day. I said that weird. <laughs> uh, all right, going now. Bye-bye.